A lot has changed in the last few years in regards to modding Stardew Valley, especially with the release of 1.6, and I've learned a lot as well, and I'm here to pass on that knowledge to you. This guide is for PC only, it's possible to mod on Android devices, but that's a different process. Anything I mention in the video will have a link in the description. Now this is a safe process, nothing will happen, but to put your mind at ease if you want to, to back up your game files, open up Steam, right click on Stardew Valley, go to Properties, on the window that opens up, go to Installed Files, and then click Backup Game Files. Here you can browse for a location to back up all of your game files just in case they get lost. Next, we're going to go to nexusmods.com. This is a mod hosting site that has by far the largest collection and community of modders. You do have to make an account, but you will not have to pay for anything. The first thing we're going to grab from here is Smappy. You can find it by sorting the mods by all time popular, it will always be the first result. This is what we will launch Stardew Valley with and what loads all of the mods. On the Smappy page, we're going to click Manual in the top right, and then on Slow Download. Fast downloads are locked behind membership, but luckily, Stardew Valley files are so small that it really doesn't matter. Most operating systems will be able to open up the zip file automatically. If yours doesn't, you will need 7-Zip. It's the go-to zipping and unzipping software. From this zip folder menu, we're just going to drag the Smappy folder out onto our desktop. Then opening up the folder, you'll see three different installers that depend on which operating system you're running. I'll be running Windows and that'll open up a command prompt or whatever the equivalent of it is on your computer. Now, if you have Stardew Valley on Steam, you're going to press one and then enter. If you got it from anywhere else, for example, the Humble Store or the GOG Store, you're going to press two and enter. And then you'll have to find the file where the game is installed. Otherwise, with Steam, it already knows where it is. Then on the next question, do you want to install Smappy? Type one again and enter again, and it'll start installing Smappy. Once it's done, this green text will pop up. Now, if you want the play button on Steam to open up Smappy instead of Stardew Valley itself, you'll copy the second line here, and you will have to copy it with the Control plus C shortcut. You can't right click and copy. Then on Steam, right click Stardew Valley, go to Properties, and then paste that under Launch Options. That will make the play button launch Smappy. Alternatively, if you open up the folder that you have Stardew Valley installed in, you'll see an app called Stardew Modding API.exe. That's Mappy. And you can launch it by double clicking it. You can right click it and turn it into a shortcut to put on your desktop or your taskbar, just like any other application. Now we can go back to Nexus Mods and start installing any mods we want. For an example, let's use this Magical Valley interface that looks simple enough. When downloading any mod, I recommend reading the description on its main page. Here you can learn about the general content of the mod, if there's anything different you need to do when installing it, what hotkeys you need to know, it's always important. Just like with Smappy, we're going to press the orange manual download button on the top right, and then you'll get a pop-up telling you any framework mods you'll need to make this mod work. And here we can see Content Patcher, so I'll click on that, and that'll open up the page for Content Patcher. And then we'll do the same thing here. Manual download, it only needs Smappy installed, download that, then go to Slow Download. Once again, that'll give you a zip file with a folder of the mod on the inside. Now we're going to go back to Steam, right click on Stardew Valley, go to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. This will open up the folder that has Stardew Valley installed. You'll notice that there's a folder called Mods now. Double click it, and then drag the folder from the zip file into the Mods folder. And that's it. The mod is installed. Now that we have Content Patcher installed, we'll repeat that same process for Magical Valley interface. And now we'll open up the game to make sure the mod loads properly. I'd do this after every couple mods or so. You don't want to install 50 mods and then see your game crash and then have no idea which mod caused it to crash. When Smappy opens, you'll see a window that shows all of the mods being loaded. If anything has any major issues that causes it not to work, you'll see the text in red. If mods have a new update available but it still works, it'll show in purple. And then yellow text is usually a caution saying, oh, in the next update it'll break, but for now you're good. And the menu came up and sure enough, it works. So we live in a post 1.6 world. A lot of mods work for only 1.6, a lot of mods only work for 1.5. How do you swap between the two? Well, let's say you're on 1.6. First thing you're going to want to do is go onto Steam, right click Stardew Valley, go to Properties, click on the Betas tab, then on the drop down menu next to Beta Participation, 
click Legacy 1.5.6. Stardew Valley will then take a couple of seconds to revert back to 1.5. Then we're also going to need an older version of Smappy. If we go to the Smappy page, instead of clicking on the manual download button, we're going to go to the tab next to the description called Files. Here we can see that the main file is Smappy 4.0. whatever. That's for version 1.6. Under that, we see optional files where we can see Smappy 3.18.6. And in its description, you can see only for players using the legacy 1.5.6 beta branch in Steam. So you'll manual download that instead, and the steps for installing it is the same as what we went through before. It's important to make sure that you change the version of Stardew Valley on Steam first and then install Smappy. Otherwise, it will not work. Then when searching for mods that are specifically only compatible for whatever version you're playing, there's two ways to do it. First, you can use tags. There's a little bar here that says refine results. Click on that dropdown. On the right side of the window, there's tags must include. I'll type in 1.5, and then we can click on the version 1.5 compatible tag. Then below that on the left, there's an orange button that says apply filters. Click that, and then all the mods you see will be ones with the tag 1.5 compatible. Now, this is not the method I prefer, because not all modders completely tag all of their mods correctly. What I like to do is go to the time dropdown, choose a range, then for our starting time, pick any old time, I'll choose 2020, I suppose. Then set the cutoff date to March 18th, 2024. This is the day before the 1.6 update went out. Click on done and then guaranteed all the mods you see here will be compatible with 1.5. Usually if they have been updated for 1.6, you'll once again, just like we did with Smappy earlier, go into the files page, scroll down to old files and find the one that's for Stardew Valley 1.5.6. And you can use the opposite of this method to find all mods that are compatible with 1.6. Go to the time dropdown, range, and then set your starting time as March 20th, 2024, which is the day after the update dropped, and then just go up to the most recent date. Or to just keep it simple, you can sort by the most popular in the last 30 days. The good thing is, as time goes on, 1.5 will become less and less relevant as more mods get updated and added to 1.6. Now there's one last thing that I want to show you that has revolutionized the way that I mod Stardew Valley and that's the Stardrop Mod Organizer. You can also find it on Nexus Mods. It has a full tutorial on how to set it up and everything in its description. What it allows you to do is easily enable and disable any mods that you already have in your mod folder. Normally, if you didn't want to play with a mod anymore, you'd have to take it out of the folder completely and store it somewhere else or delete it, which can be a huge hassle. This is much simpler. You can also set little profiles that have certain mods enabled by default. So for instance, I have a profile for when I want to play on my Stardew Valley Expanded Farm. I have a profile that gives me a bunch of cheats mods whenever I want to get footage for a video. I have one for my Stardew Randomizer, and I have one for just when I want to play vanilla. It's just super nice. I can't recommend it enough. What if I'm on Mac or Linux or Android or Steam Deck? Yeah, you can mod on Steam Deck now. That's new. In those cases, I don't have personal experience doing it. The Stardew Valley Wiki is crazy enough to include guides for all of those platforms. Although someday I would like to make my own guide for Android modding specifically. You can also check out the Smappy subreddit. They have a lot of resources there as well, and you can direct questions to them or to me in the comments. Good luck, happy modding.